Hi guys! In the third video of our exercise technique, I would like to speak about walking. And walking is a skill. And with every step you take, you can either be reinforcing bad posture habits, or you can be strengthening your posture and setting yourself up for a healthy alignment. So, the way how you walk. Let's check it. Don't uh, correct anything, just when you walk from your office to the washroom or when you go for a walk around your block, have a look for on your feet, have a look on your knees, have a look on your hips, on your shoulders, on your he head, and how do you walk. And then concentrate on it and let's, uh, let's, uh, I will tell you now a few basic things that you can improve, that you can incorporate into your work, that you work even healthily healthily for your body and uh, you uh, better your uh, posture. So, the first thing that we can start is the, we can uh, start from the standing position. The first video, I hope that you see that, the proper standing, active standing position, that if you stand, you keep your feet parallel, slightly bent knees, hips in uh, pelvis in a neutral position. You open your shoulders, bring your arms down. If someone is pulling you up, so your body is really long, and then tuck in your chin. From this position, we can start to walk. And if we walk, I go from down to up. If we walk, many of us are walking that way. Or oh, I go extremely, eh? But many of us don't put the feet parallel. That's the important, important thing that I want to mention. Put your feet parallel next to each other. Not opening your feet out. Why? Because we can uh, create more and more flat feet. The knee collapses are collapsing in. Hips are collapsing. It can be back pain. Every, let's go one by one. can influence a lot and not in good way. So keep your feet putting parallel. When you walk, then let's use your feet, you roll from your heel, from outside uh, part of your heel to your toes and then coming again, uh, the other other leg. So use your toes as a, a point where you can help your leg to bring for, go forward. So you are not bringing, using your hip flexors for so much, they are already very tightened. So your toes can help you to move the leg forward actively movement leg forward. You push from your toes and moving the leg forward. So the next thing is about our our shoulder. So if you are going that way, uh -uh. open your shoulder, open your chest and then lean your chest a little bit forward because you want to go forward. So you have to also go with your upper body a little bit forward and then also the leg will follow you and going forward. And then the other thing is very often you can see people are going and swinging in their arms that way. Uh -uh. There is a swing, but the swing is going forward and back. And uh, not just forward, but don't forget swinging back. The same angle, how we for, uh, swing forward, we should also swing back. So, swinging your arms forward, back. And then the last thing that I would like to mention, don't forget to tuck in, tuck in your chin and keep imagining that you're, someone is pulling you all the time up. So you are growing as much as you can. So, by next walking, check your feet, check your hips, how you move your hips, check swinging of your arms, how your chest and shoulders are open. And where is uh, your head, if you have for forward head posture, or you tuck your chin in. And how you know, actually, from your posture, from walking, we can see and read a lot. So your work also shows your confidence. And as we wo uh, work on a mindset and through man mindset on our body, we can, through our body, influence our mindset and confidence. So work on it, concentrate on that, hope that you will... Be aware of every step. You will work on your posture and getting better and better every day. Thank you very much, guys. Have a beautiful long weekend and hope to see you soon. Bye.